Hey there guys, welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our last tutorial, we have learned how to disable the auto load of the characters inside our Roblox game. This tutorial, we're going to learn how to manually load the characters inside our games. So let's start by going to our service script service. We're going to enter a script and this is from our last tutorial. This is how you disable the auto load of the characters inside your game. So if I play test right now, you're going to see that the character never going to get loaded because we have disabled the auto load of the characters. So, so, so you can see the game has started, but the character never gets loaded inside the game. So now we're back inside Studio and we're going to look at how we can manually load the character. Since the game is not going to auto load the character for us, we, we got to have a way to manually load the character when we want to. So let's now go to our service script service. We're going to enter a script, disable character load. This was actually from our last tutorial. We're going to go down here and we're going to add a player added event. So we're going to say players dot player added colon connect to a function. The player that joins the game is automatically passed in. And to manually load the character for this player that joins the game, we're going to say player, which is the player that just joined into the game, colon, load character. And that is going to load the character for this player. Let's now play test and take a look. And there it goes. You can see my character has been manually loaded when I wanted to. And guys, that is how you manually load characters inside your games. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next tutorial. Take care everyone. Peace.